time in the sky there. Well, you know what, friends, I really, really love it when we can empower our youth to become future leaders. And one program in Michigan is doing just that, the Saginaw County Youth Ambassador Program. Here to tell us more about it is Jenny and Tina. Thank you so much for being here. How are you both? Great. Thank Wonderful. you for having us. Of course. Now, we all know that Saginaw County is Saginaw awesome, right? Now, you <laughs> now young folks spreading the word. That's what you're, you're really doing here. Tell us a little bit about the Saginaw County Youth Ambassador Program. Absolutely. It's really all about youth empowerment yes. and student voice. And so, a number of years ago, um, we partnered with the Saginaw County Chamber of Commerce, okay. Dale Carnegie yeah. and Partnership Network to develop a three-year youth leadership program. So these students apply as ninth graders on recommendation of their counselors. They're interviewed and they're selected for this three-year opportunity commencing in their senior year as actual ambassadors to their peers about why this is a great place to live, work, and play. Yeah, and what are some of the goals? I can imagine just learning the leadership skills, learning how to work as a team and developing all those. It's just so, Wonderful. Yeah. Talk absolutely. to us a little bit about that. Some of the goals that you really want, that you hope that they bring away as a student ambassador. Yeah. It's that peer to peer yeah. mentorship yes. and leadership and helping them to discover what a great community that we live in. Um, Tina can expand. She's um, our coach for this group here oh, that's great. now in their senior year as ambassadors. Yes. What are some of the things that you're teaching them and, and, and that you hope they take away? Well, um, we're teaching them a variety of things. Yeah. They each come with so many great skills, but the ability to articulate a message well, yes. uh, to take something that they're passionate about and uh, speak to it uh, with student voice, with strong student voice, and find ways to serve it within the community. I love that there's so many different folks that we see there, all the young people, and they get to experience Wow, a wide variety yes. of activities as yes. well Absolutely. as student yes, ambassadors. Do. What are some of the jobs that they do or some of the duties? So right have? now we have student ambassadors throughout Saginaw County that are promoting um, live, work, and play in mm. Saginaw right in their districts. Yeah. So last week, for example, we were at Arthur Hill High School okay. with the ambassadors uh, from Saginaw Public Schools. Yes. And uh, they did a wonderful job promoting Saginaw using the Saginaw Awesome video. Uh, which is serving them well and and communicating a wonderful message in the community. Oh, that is terrific. So are you still looking for any ambassadors? How can how can young people, I'm sure some of them out there are saying, oh my gosh, I want to be a student ambassador. How can they get involved? Well, the two key criteria yeah. that we are looking for would be excellent attendance yes. and also a heart for service and community. Okay. So those are the two main criteria and our students that have been selected are demonstrating it exceptionally well. Wow, so where do they need to go to apply? They need to see their counselors. Okay. The application process will open back up to um, current ninth graders in the springtime and then their counselors can get them on that path for applying. I love it because you know it's such a terrific opportunity for the youth. It's a win-win. They build self-confidence, teamwork, and leadership skills and it's really sending a message. Saginaw County is really a great place to live, work, and play, right? That's yes. what you're trying to get out there. Anything else that you'd like to, to let people know about it, just how important it is to have these yeah. young voices in the community? Yeah, I, I think oftentimes we do a lot of things for our youth or for our citizens, but we don't always remember to have them at the table and have their voices heard. So if I could say that, that one of the pinnacles of this program is elevating student voice and having them be part of the conversations yes. and having them at the table when we're implementing programs opportunities and initiatives. I love it. All the students matter and I see that you have a Yes, I hope you'll there. be looking for this out <laughs> in the community. The students are distributing these okay. at their presentations and of course we brought one for you today. Oh, so thank you so I'm much so for excited. having us here. Thank you. you I are appreciate very welcome. that. Oh, I will wear this with pride. Definitely. Sag and awesome is for sure. Thank Absolutely. you both for being here. Appreciate you both. Yes, thank, thank you for you. having us. Of course, you're welcome. If you have any ideas on what you would like to see on our show, you can send them to us at WNEM-4PMNews at WNEM.com. Just use the subject 4PM News Spotlight.